The film industry is buzzing with excitement this weekend as movie makers and performers count down to Oscar night. I spoke earlier to Arise Entertainment 360's anchor Shannon Lanier, who's reporting from the heart of Tinseltown. Shannon, you're out there in the thick of it. The Oscars are coming up in just a couple of days, and I know a lot of prep is happening right now. Give us the latest. Oh, it's so exciting out here, uh, Deb. You can already see some people behind me getting ready. They're doing the reports. Over 300 news outlets from around the world will be here for the big show. And they've already laid the red carpet. It's still covered up with plastic. You have the bleachers behind me where nearly 800 fans will be sitting on Saturday to cheer for the favorite stars coming down the red carpet. It's pretty exciting here. Some of the statues they have still covered up. They're trying to keep them safe in case it rains. But you can see and you can feel the excitement in the air already. Everybody's getting ready for a big night. Yeah, the last time I heard a news forecast, it might be raining uh, on Oscar night. Have they put up the uh, the, shelts, the shelters or tents over the red carpet? <laughs> Uh, no, they have not. If you look right down here, this was, uh, right behind me is where some of the main broadcasts will be happening. And there is a tent up there. Last year, they had a big tent over the whole carpet. They have not done that yet. So I'm hoping maybe the forecast is a little wrong and we'll have a dry day. We can only hope for the best. Yeah, but either way, absolutely. we have great heat. It's warm out here, so that's a good thing. You better believe it. The stars are going to shine bright whether it's raining or not. Let's talk about the host this year, Neil Patrick Harris. A lot yes. of buzz. He's done other sh a big awards show, but this is his first turn with the Oscars. Yeah, he's done the Tony Awards four times. He's done the Emmy Awards twice. I mean, he's a great performer. He's a great artist. And he's a triple threat. He's not only a singer, actor, and a dancer. He does it all. And I think that's what people are really looking forward to in his performance. And he'll probably do some breakout and song and dance and be on stage having a great time. We just don't know what he's going to be singing yet. But they usually do some type of mashup where he's making fun of the awardees or the nominees or the movies that were nominated. So we're all excited to see how he's going to do especially after Ellen did such an amazing job the last two years of the awards. And he even got some advice from Ellen recently, and she said he doesn't have to worry, he'll be fine. But you remember last year, Ellen took that huge scene around the world, selfie picture of all the stars and her. Now, I don't know what he's going to do, but Neil Patrick Harris is going to have to try to upstage that some way, somehow. Yeah, he's <laughs> going to have big shoes to fill there, but I think he will definitely rise yeah. to the occasion. Before I oh, let yeah. you go, Shannon, I know that there are pre-Oscar parties happening all around you, even probably as we speak. One of the notable ones is the yeah. Essence Magazine party. Oh, yeah. The Essence Women in Hollywood event was huge yesterday. It was a great opportunity for people to come out and celebrate women in Hollywood doing amazing things. There were some great awards given out. Also, Gugu and Bata Ra, who was in Beyond the Lights, and Belle, she received the Breakthrough Award, a Breakout Artist Award. So that's great for her, and it's great for her career. The cast of Orange is the New Black got the Vanguard Award, so that was huge for them to see all the women on stage. And they gave a great speech about not worrying about what you look like, because, you know, a lot of people have told them that they were too dark, too fat, too ugly, not able to be successful. And look at their show. They have one of the hottest shows out right now. So I think that was a nice sentiment that they were delivering at that award show. And uh, it was just a great opportunity for people to really see some of the people that are in front of the scenes and behind the scenes helping make Hollywood go round. Because a lot of times you may not see them. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, at this award show, at the Academy Awards, there were no women of color nominated for an award. So you won't see them here, but you'll see them as presenters throughout the night. Nice to know that they were recognized at that event. Well, I know you are in for a very yeah. busy weekend. I hope you slept on the plane because you probably won't sleep again until next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. Have a I great weekend. I don't need weekend. sleep. Who needs that? Bye-bye. <laughs>